Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So, something a little bit different today. Today we are doing a Terraria tier list. That's right. It's been about two years since I last did one of these. A little rusty, got to admit. Uh, but I actually made this one because it's something I'm very passionate about. And it's 1.4.5 spoilers. Yeah, the update's been in development for 18 months now. And I get a lot of requests to make recap videos. I don't want to make another one just yet because I've already made like three. That might be too many. I might be pushing it a little bit. But today we are ranking uh, spoilers. This is pretty much every spoiler that we like really know about. I can't include screenshots of Red's profile. It, it wouldn't fit on tier list maker. Anyway, uh, <laughs> these are the rankings. I hope you like them. Uh, I can't play 1.4.4 now. Essentially meaning I can't play the previous update because this spoiler is too good. It's it's ruined the update for me. The reason I'm excited for 1.4.5. This is just like, you know, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing for these. Uh, cool, but I might only use this once. This is for every feature where I'm like, oh, this is, this is cool, but... I feel like I'm just, I'm just explaining it again. Okay, first up, a perfect spoiler to explain one of my tiers. Uh, Ethereum Furniture. Ethereum Furniture is going right here. Because uh, I don't really build in Terraria. Terraria already has like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 building sets. I actually don't even know the answer. It's way too many for me to care about. This is where this belongs. I bet you builders are gonna love it. I'm just not a builder. Uh, this next one is, uh, I called it angry critters. I think it's something to do with like, if you have bad luck, you get angry critters. And I already don't know where to rank this one because I don't have bad luck too often in Terraria. I think this is gonna be for like newer players to the game that aren't really keeping a track of their luck. I will say it's pretty cool. I want to see it in action. I want to see what this is like. How often will it happen? Dart trap slimes. Dart trap slimes, I think are really cool. The idea that a slime could be like bobbing along, uh, but shooting arrows at you. I think that is going to be quite hard to avoid. I think this will be really cool. So this is going in pretty cool. I won't say it's like the reason I'm excited for the update, but it is cool. Uh, the Axarang. I legitimately think the Axarang is going to be a banger item. I think every Terraria player will keep this Axarang on them when they are playing the game. I don't know when you get it. If it's in late hard mode, I will probably keep this because the idea of like throwing out a boomerang, but then it chops down a tree instantly. It's a reason I'm excited for the update. I think this is great. Okay, bat transformation. Here's the thing, right? If this is anything like the one in the Thorium mod, this is going to be a banger item in it. Like the idea that you have a transformation, you can fly, you can turn into a bat. I think much like the wolf transformation, we'll probably get to this later with the dino one as well. I like these transformations in Terraria. It's a reason I'm excited for the update. It's not like... You know, it's not a, a game changer, as I like to say in a YouTube title. Uh, but it is really cool, though. Boulderain. How do you rank Boulderain? Boulderain is going to be a laugh. It's going to be a laugh, but it's going to be a nightmare. Does Boulderain happen in every world? Is it a rare event? Is it a secret seed thing? I don't know. But Boulderain. I'm going to put Boulderain in pretty cool. Because it's going to happen, and I'm going to laugh. But then about five seconds in, I'm going to be like, well, can't leave my house now. So so thanks, everyone, for recommending this. Myself included, by the way. You know, Terraria community. I don't put the blame on you. I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in this. I'm in it. But will this be fun? I was going to jump into a story about this one, but I don't think I'm allowed to tell it. I will tell it when the update is out, if I'm allowed. Uh, this spoiler is simply called Swimwear. I think Swimwear is cool, but I might only use it once. 
I like the idea that you can use it in thumbnails and you can use it with your like cool ocean builds. I think builders are gonna find some use for this, you know, mannequins and whatnot. Sen Axe Pet. Here's the thing, right? When I think of iconic images of this update already, I think of the Sen Axe Pet, you know, the tree versus axe war on the forums. This is a big symbol of that. I think the sprite is really, really cool on this one. And I do like the functionality that it will try and chop down a tree. I think that's quite cool. We don't have a lot of pets that, that act that way in Terraria. I will say, quite genuinely, it's one of the main reasons I'm excited for the update. It just is. I think it's cool. I like Senex. Senex is a bit of a legend. So, you know, I will wear her pet with pride. So here's the thing, right? You'd think it'd be quite hard to get excited about a new slime in Terraria since we do have so many. But here's the thing. I think in the early game, if these appear in normal worlds, these will be quite interesting to fight compared to regular slimes. Because if you played a lot of Terraria like myself, I feel like moving around slimes AI is not that hard, right? But with these, because they hover in the air, I think if you get one of these with a couple other slimes, I think they're going to be a bit of a menace. I think these will be really cool. This is pretty cool. I know I just kind of said a lot of hype about it and I didn't put it here, but at the end of the day, it is a slime, right? Okay, so for this one, we are ranking the Corruption and the Crimson version of this whip. I think one of them is called the Vasculash. Cannot remember the name of the other. But essentially, this means that you now get a whip after either the Eater of Worlds or the Brain of Cthulhu. And I really, really like this because if you want to play Summoner right now, you go Leather Whip and then you go Snap Thorn and then you're stuck with the Snap Thorn for ages, for ages, right? So if you want to play Summoner, if you're a diehard Summoner like myself, I am putting this in I can't play 1.4.4 now. I know that sounds dramatic and I, I don't mean it. I, this is not so literal, right? It, it really isn't super literal. But I do think, much like Summoner before 1.4, I think once we've got all of these new whips, I don't think you'll want to play an older version. Not like many people play older versions. But I do. Like, I played through the whole of 1.3 last month in my free time. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I do it. I just do. Okay, Dinosaur Mount. Woo! All right. I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's in my beta gameplay, so you know I've already used it. Oh, it, it, it might be <laughs> it might be one of my favorite things. I'm not even a dinosaur person. They just look really good. <laughs> and the fact it's got all these little animations, like it works with the lawnmower. They they didn't need to do that. But they did. They did. Alright. This is why Terraria updates take a while. It is. But they're so good. Um Wow, I tell you what, going from one strength to another big strength. Um, fishing. The fact that you can now see fish as you're fishing. This is, oh my god, it's chef's kiss. It, it, it's, it's one of the best things that's ever happened in Terraria. It is, okay? It's going up there. It, oh, it's, it's banging. <laughs> I just, honestly, I love this. I gotta calm myself down. I'm, I'm getting worked up. I'm getting, these two have set me over the edge. I'm hyped about these, honestly. The thing is, I kind of feel the same about this as like any piece of chlorophyte. Essentially meaning you get it right after you get all your hallowed gear from the mech bosses. So it's not a big upgrade and it's a bit of a time sink because you got to go mine all that chlorophyte. And it's like, well, you just got all this hallowed stuff and you haven't really used it yet. I guess the idea is you're meant to use hallowed to survive the hard mode jungle to get this. I like options. I'll never be like disappointed with options. So I will put it in. This is pretty cool. So classy cane rework. I don't know. Um, does this work on like all enemies? Do you think? Do you think it gets you coins from everyone? Or do you think it's more like an Easter egg thing where it works on NPCs and if you kill your NPCs with it, you get more gold from them. I don't know. Um, I I might have to put this in cool, but I might only use it the once. I don't know what it's going to be, all right? I could 
maybe even put it in here, which I know is brutal, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's a, a short range melee weapon. And like at this point in the game, is anybody bothered about that? I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, Orcas. Uh, I am really excited for this. I think these look really, really good. I like the idea that it is bringing back a console exclusive because for a lot of the Terraria community, like 40% of players, they had these in their game at one point. I never did because I played mostly PC. So I don't get nostalgic about them. But I like the idea that other people do and they're going to get a real kick out of this. And here's the thing, right? We're kind of starved for ocean content. I think we can all agree, like, we'd all like something in the ocean. So, it's actually a reason I'm excited for the update. I'll be honest. Like, I think these are awesome. Now, this one, I wrote this down as bubble block. <laughs> Great, James. Well done. Um, essentially, Red has reworked uh, bubble block. So, they retain liquid when you leave the world. I think that's the way it works. But it essentially means you can put bubble block down with liquids inside and then make yourself like a mega crafting station. So I'm putting this in pretty cool because I never really used bubble block before, but I do think now I will use this. Like I will have one for water. I'll have one for honey. Like why not? If you've got the option, why not? Stardust whip, or at least what we assume is a stardust whip. It probably is. Um, I I really just like more options, to be honest, with Summoner. I feel like Summoner... <laughs> it's weird to say, but Summoner might have too many whips now. That's a topic once the update's out. That might be a bit of a silly take. We'll find out together. Uh, I'm going to put that in pretty cool. Because we do already have the Kaleidoscope. Uh, Flailron. So this is a new version of Flailron. It is believed, I think, I think Red said this, I might be wrong, but I think it's like the old version's there and the new version's there as well. So, I think the new version is banging, all right? We need more flails in Terraria. I don't think there's enough. This is a great way to spice up an old weapon. A pretty old, powerful weapon at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, the original one's a really good weapon, so this is cool. Uh, I called this one... Wait for it. He's reading. Uh, Prisoner Vanity. Yeah, so we got a lot of Dead Cells things. I had to separate them out. The Prisoner Vanity is cool, but I might only use it the once because obviously I have my own style in Terraria, but I do like the design. Okay, if you don't know what this is yet, essentially they've added a water gun now, which you can spray on NPCs to get their shimmered version. I genuinely think this will be such a game changer because a lot of people don't even know you can shimmer NPCs and the artwork for the shimmered NPCs are kind of cool. Like, aren't they? Like, come on. Some of them, some of them might be better than the original designs, all right? I will say this is one of the reasons I'm excited for the update. Like, quite literally, I want to shimmer some NPCs easier. Oh. It's time for my hot take, okay? Uh, this is why we have this tier right here. I wish this was expanded on. So this is the new little counter, which you get under your summons to say, oh, you have two summons that you've summoned. I really wish that they'd gone with the idea that kind of like pushed this idea forward where it's like a little UI element and it shows you all of the summon slots which you could possibly have I do think this is like an improvement over what we've got right now. It's cool to see like how many you've got summoned. But really, as a diehard summoner, I want to know, am I actually getting the max amount of summons without having to know the number off the top of my head? Uh, so the hardcore, hard mode, Terrari professional, hard mode mining set. Uh, this is pretty cool. I will use this. I know I will. Ever since I had a class loadout, I have had one for the mining set, but now I'm going to have a better one. So if that's what it is, pretty cool. <laughs> Pufferfish. Pufferfish is like one of the most iconic Terrari spoilers of all time now. 
I think the puffer fish are going to be actually awesome. It's it's not here, right? But it is up here. I have been recording um, this video for an hour. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? Because <laughs> this is probably cut down to like 15 minutes. I just, I'm just fumbling my words. So, you know, if I sound a little fed, you know why. Star Crash. This is a new whip, which I got to show in my beta footage. Where do you think it comes from? Hey, eh? what's your prediction? Can't say. NDA. <laughs> it's just another whip. I can't, I can't rank this because I can't tell you where it comes from. So it's like, oh, I wonder, oh, I wonder what point of the game it might be. Will it make a difference? All right. This is pretty cool. It's a new whip. It's cool, right? I, I wish I could talk about it. I can't, can't talk about it. Oh, look, it's another whip. We're going to put that right here. We're going to put it right in this row. I love Summoner. Like, I, I genuinely love playing as a Summoner. So... Any kind of whip, I'm into it. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't take that out of context. Uh, Moon Lord shirt uh, is cool, but I might only use it the once. I think it's really cool. I feel like it's a long time coming, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this is clearly like a Moon Lord whip, right? I think we're all in agreement on that. The spoiler image I've picked is like, it's an old one. We might have had a new one. I can't remember. Um, this has got to go here, right? Any new whip. How many new whips have we ranked? One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of these really are getting a lot of whips. <laughs> it, might, it might be too many whips. I don't know. It might be. Um, we have the killing deck, which is a weapon, which I can't talk about. It's cool, though. <laughs> I mean, you've seen it. You've seen it in the beta footage. Um... Cannot say anything about it. Oh, it's really good though. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely one of the reasons I'm like really excited. I think it's a sick weapon. We'll say no more. Uh, Heroics or Frank's vanity set with the filter. I'm going to bundle both of these together. So for Frank's set, I would put Frank's set into cool, but I'm only going to use it the once. Because obviously I have my own style, as you all know. I don't really change up my vanity too often in Terraria. The actual design of it, I think, is really, really good. Like, for real, I think they did a, a bang-up job of it. The filter is like, I'm going to use that a lot. Like, I actually am. Um, I really like the black and white film noir uh, aesthetic. I <laughs> This makes me sound old because it's like some old people do. I'm not that old, but look, right? I like posting photos in black and white and then people go, oh no, he's dead. Oh, he's died. <laughs> Every time I do it, they're like, oh, he's dead. Anyway, um, the filter, if I split these up, right, the filter's like one of the reasons I'm excited for the update. Genuinely, the set is like in between. So I'm going to put it in. This is pretty cool. Um, I messed up my thing. There we go. So from what we know, this is the like vampire seed. Uh, concept is, if you go out into the sunlight, you burn. Now, is that a full seed on its own? Or is it like a seed combination, like special effect? Because I can't tell which is which. Like, we've got a lot of spoilers where I'm like, is that a secret seed on its own? Is it an effect? We don't know. I don't know. So I will put this as pretty cool i think everyone will agree with me if i just put this straight into i can't play 1.4.4 now i'm not talking about like the whole update but especially phase blades they're awful compared to like what we've seen these reworked phase blades are so cool all right this is like one of the standout spoilers we've ever had this top column is looking pretty good this whip one in particular, it's weird because like I say, we've got so many other whips, but I do think this one, I was I was getting bored of the snap fawn. I was using it way too much. Uh, next up, we have the moon glow slime. Now, we don't know where these are going to pop up in the game, but I really hope they just pop up in every world because if you look closely at the footage, when the slime hits mud, 
It plants a moon glow. I just really want that. I want more ways to get moon glow. Moon glow is one of the best herbs in the game. It makes like the best potions. So if this leads to more moon glow, it's up here. Honestly, that's quite dramatic, but I, I really do, I really do believe in that. Uh, spectate mode. Now, I don't play a lot of multiplayer, as you all probably know, but this is like, how did this take 13 years? It's one of those. It's going right up here. It works really well as well. Like it is flawless. So, really good feature. Um, this is the uh, hard mode fishing set, we believe. Uh, uh it's going here. I'm, I'm so. Um, do you know what? Ever since doing the 200 fishing quests, I really don't think I'm gonna fish much in like future updates. I know I put like this one up here. I will still fish, but not enough to get myself a hard mode fishing gear. Whatever it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I put this one on. It's a special kind of boulder. I'm not going to say it because YouTube doesn't like you to say it. It's a special boulder. Um, it's fair. It's fair. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding, right? Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> is it? Is it pretty cool? I'm definitely not only... <laughs> I'm not, it's not my humor, but it is at the same time. It's a little childish, and it's like a not a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I love boulders. I love boulders, all right? I'm a big boulder fan. Um, The CRT TV is what I'm really excited about. So... To give a little backstory on this, essentially, um, I got to like show a little clip of it in the beta footage. But basically, there was an idea that floated around. I think it might have been like a couple of days before that beta run. I can't remember who posted it. I'm sorry. But somebody was like, oh, I'd really like more furniture in Terraria that isn't like uh, bookcases and that. And I came into this beta run and I was like, oh, I really want a TV. I think a TV would be dead cool. So we had this idea and it was like floating around. Oh yeah, it'd be cool to have a TV. And then when we saw the CRT filter, I was like, right, this is my chance. I'm going to throw these two ideas together and it might happen. And it happened. And I really, really like it. Um, I like the filter, but do you know what I might do? I might make a texture pack where... I can have the TV look like it's on, but with no filter on, because I really like the way it looks when it's lit up. It's one of the reasons I'm excited. I need more furniture that isn't like bookcases. I want more stuff that I can place down. I've had mods to do this for a while, but this is the kind of thing you need when you're not like a master builder. You need bits like this. Uh, I am quite genuinely uh, a big fan of transformations in Terraria. I think they're really nicely done. I quite like the idea of the rat because you can go super small and we've never had an option to do that before in Terraria. I've always thought it'd be cool. So rat transformation is going into one of the reasons I'm excited, okay? It's not as high as the dinosaur because I think the dinosaur just looks really cool. We don't know the functionality of this rat yet. Will you be able to swing a pickaxe? We don't know. Okay, so Rainbow Boulder. Now, I can't really comment on this one too much because I can only say what was shown, uh, but it's a boulder that was bouncing between valuable objects um, and nobody died around it. So it's cool. <laughs> no, I, I, I think these are really flash. Uh, these are... Wow, this is getting big. The reason I'm excited for 1.4.5, I'm, I'm all for new boulders. And I think this one is like a particularly cool boulder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God. Now, the funny thing is, we did get a better look at this whip recently. And I still cannot like put money on where I think it would be in the game. I am torn between Martian Madness and Duke Fishron like a lot. Like... It looks like an eel to me. Like, I kind of see... I, I don't know. I see both. I do. I see both. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, all of these whips combined probably could go into the reason I'm excited for 1.4.5. Um, I don't want to, like, 
over glorify them. I will say Mushroom Boy makes me especially happy because you may remember that like in the run up to, you know, before we started getting a lot of spoilers, I made a video that was like, here are a couple of Dead Cells things I think would work in Terraria. And I said Mushroom Boy, like out of all of the things, I was like, yeah, Mushroom Boy would make a great summon. Uh, and he's here and he's great and I love him. I don't know at what point he's going to be in the game. Um, that was worth mentioning, to be honest. In the beta footage, if you saw a weapon or a thing, it didn't mean it was actually at that point in the game. It was just being tested, you know? Uh, so, oh, it, it really is this between here. I mean, it's not ruining an update, but it's like one of the main reasons I'm excited for the update. I think Mushroom Boy is really cool. He's a cool summon. He's got a cool design. I like more summon weapons. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, this is a, a voice changer and a pitch slider. The thing is, I haven't heard what other hurt sounds they're going to be. So... There's a chance that this could be really annoying. Like, there could be some sounds in there that are just kind of like a bit too tinny, a bit too high-pitched. I'm probably just going to leave it at default because, you know, I played so much Terraria. I feel like it'd be weird to hear a different sound, but I do like that it's not tied to body type anymore because that was always like a bit weird anyway. So, you know, that's good. But yeah, I just... <laughs> It's almost got that, like, I fear that if you put the pitch really low, it's going to be like the, the Roblox sound. And that's annoying for me. So, you know. Now, we do not know what this will be like in action, but this is the image I have for the developers potentially changing Smart Cursor so that you can build platforms in a line. This is one of the most requested things I've ever had in the game. This is going straight up to the top tier. I really hope it's good. I'm, I'm praying. Oh, it's it's bad right now. Like sometimes, like I was trying to get footage to show how broken this was. And like, I wasn't even trying. It's really bad right now. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Um, Oh, ah, okay. This is an interesting one. So this popped up in the like beta footage. Essentially, when you kill a boss in multiplayer, and I don't know if it does it automatically, or somebody was typing a command in the chat, it displays the damage done by every player on the server. Now, I'm going to be honest, right? I didn't bring this up to the developers. Seemed a little weird. <laughs> but I, I didn't really like this. And it's cool to have. So I do hope it's... It, right, okay. Here's the thing. I hope this is one of those things that's like, it, there's a toggle for it or a command because this is really weird mentality, but I think it's just being the gamer, right? I liked it when I was near the top of the list and I didn't like it when I wasn't because I felt like, I was like, ah, oh, was I not playing good enough? Was I like picking the wrong weapons? That functionally, it's really good. I just, I'm not into it. So, you know, that's a hard one, right? Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Why am I just like two negative in a row? I, I said this to, to the developers. I don't really like the banner window. I kind of wish it was just gone. I wish it was in the, the bestiary or the bestiary. I, I don't like where it is. I wish it wasn't next to this little crafting hammer. I don't really use banners. So I'm like, you know, I'm looking at it from one side. I probably, I put it across better to them. I'm not articulating it very well right now, but I don't know. It's, if you don't use banners, it's like a UI element, which I, I wish we didn't have. I wish we had a UI element for the summoner thing I mentioned earlier and like not this. This to me seems like a little modded as well. So I wish it was expanded upon. This one is the flint. It's a, a new melee weapon from the game Dead Cells. I'll be honest, I don't really know how to rank this one because I've only seen it in a photograph. So I don't know when you get it in the game. I don't know how flashy it's gonna be. I don't know what the damage is like, what the range is like. So I feel bad like not saying I'm excited for it. So I'm just gonna put it in pretty cool. It could have the potential to be like really good and go up to here. I just don't know enough about it. There's obviously a lot of melee weapons already. So it's hard to get like, you know, overexcited. Meteorite showers, I, 
So this is theoretically something for only Skyblock uh, because it allows you to get Meteorite without a Meteorite spawning. But I think in concept, I think it would work well on all worlds because I like the idea that you don't have to go out of your way to mine Meteorite to get Meteorite stuff. So you can have like a Meteorite biome and leave it and let your world look pretty. That's your aesthetic if you want a big Meteorite and get stuff. So I think it's actually one of the reasons I'm excited. I think this will be fun. And it's like, it's just like another event to like spice things up potentially. This is the, this is a small image. This is the stress ball. So I'm excited for two reasons. Number one, this is an item that allows for uh, AFK farming, essentially. But somebody also pointed out, it's like a great accessibility feature for anybody that just has any issues in that department. It's an item that, you know, reduces the amount of times you have to click. How cool is that? And I think it will make me want to use an AFK farm. So it's actually one of the main reasons I'm excited for the update. No, 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 no. It is actually, it's one of the best things, actually. Now that, <laughs> sounds like I'm lying. <laughs> but now that I think about it, I don't think, you know, I would never go set up an AFK farm in the current update. So with that logic, I will in the new update. So it's top tier. So it's a hard image to see, but this is a, a placeable demon altar. Why did this take so long? I have wanted this from the very start. I hate running to the demon altar. I have all of my things in chests. I don't have them on me. I, I can't wait for this. The developer said that this will be like hard to get. Don't, <laughs> just make it easy to get. Oh, it, oh, it's so good. It's a great item. I really hope it's not a faff. If it's post Moon Lord, I'm gonna be so marty. <laughs> I don't think it will be. Uh, Mud balls. These are a new throwable weapon. Uh, I would be lying if I said it hyped me up. It's, it is what it is. It's like a shuriken, right? I'm not getting hyped about shuriken. Uh, chest hoppers. These are really cool. So these work like the Minecraft ones. Some people didn't know what that was when I said that before. Essentially, a hopper sucks in items automatically that, that come close so you don't have to manually put them in chests so if you have like an afk farm and a little conveyor belt and the item kind of drops off it will go in the chest this is another thing where it's like 13 years really this is a great item so i don't know how much i'll use it in truth but oh, it's so good oh okay so this is the image i put for the seed selector um so no more secret seeds. I, I do think that's a good thing because I think people are missing out because they didn't know how to look on the wiki and see the secret seed section. Because like, why would you look for it if you didn't know? So I'm really happy with the seed selector and I really like the idea that you can combine uh, multiple seeds and get special effects. I think for replayability, I think this will keep the game going for many more years. Because like, it's going to take a while to get all of these combinations and learn all the effects. I think somebody will probably like archive all of the different ones. But if you don't look at that, you could have a lot of fun finding them on your own. I think this is like, it's top tier. It, it's going on the top list. I'm, I'm set. I'm speeding up now. Dead Cells Jars. These are one of the reasons I'm excited for the update. These look really cool. I legitimately think I'll use them more than like weapon racks and item racks because I like the, the colored liquid. Um, I've got a, a bit of a gamer aesthetic in my room. You know, I've got colored lights. It's a bit like that. This is another spoiler where I'm not too sure what it is, uh, but my assumption is it's an item or like a thing that will automatically uh, turn torches to uh, the correct biome torch. I think this, even though I dunk on a uh, positive torch look a lot, like I was joking about it when I played with red, um, I do think this will be really handy because it is nice to get extra look and it'll be good for aesthetics. So I think it's pretty cool. All right. I'm not, I'm not putting it in here. I'm not going to exaggerate. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, 
this one's really small. This is the Magic Yo-Yo bag. I really like yo-yos in Terraria, but I would I would agree with the community that I've kind of lost all motivation to, to use them. So, this is another, and I'm messing up the grid, this is another like top tier item because now that they have this, I will replay the whole game as a yo-yoer. And I like that, I don't know, I think it adds functionality to a class that's long forgotten. I am partial to this one because I recorded the spoiler for it. Uh, this is the brand new Eater of Worlds music track. I really, really love this track. I think it's phenomenal. Same with everything that Scott makes, to be honest. Uh, having heard the full track, I will say it's up here for me. Like I I love it. I think it's I think it's awesome. We have another one on here. I might just do it now. And it's the twins. I also recorded the one for this. It oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is another rework. It's like adding spice to an old weapon. I think this is it's it's kind of between these two um because i don't really use the zombie arm too much but i might use the zombie arm more because they've changed it you know what i mean it's, it's a weird one i'm gonna put it here though i'll be fair but i do i do like that they're taking these weapons and, and spicing them up uh oh okay this i i don't know what this is <laughs> well i do but i don't right so it's it's color changing slimes based on the painted grass i think this is like a secret seed thing you know how in secret seeds some of them are like well they're painted right i think this is for that like if you've got a really cool painted ocean now you've got cool slimes to go with it um this is like oh oh i feel brutal it, it's there i said it's cool but i don't know if it's like the thing i'm thrilled about uh the rollerblades. These are sick. They're so fun. They're really fun. Oh, I might go right up here. They're so good. I have used these um, and I was finding the wackiest of ways to use them. They're really good. Vertical conveyor belts. Uh, oh, gosh, another thing where it's like 13 years. Really? <laughs> that sounds so insulting. <laughs> the more I say it, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, Actually, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't make too many farms, but I know when I make a farm, I'm going to use it. Uh, oh, okay. So this is, this is kind of general. Uh, I put this spoiler here to represent all re-sprites. Uh, we've seen a lot of them. They're the reason I'm excited for 1.4.5. I am, um, I am pro re-sprite Terraria. I think Terraria looks way better now than it ever has done because of re-sprites. Some people, they get hung up, they get nostalgic about these things. Not me. I think the Terraria artists get better with time. And I like that the development team are like, oh, just, just re-sprite it. I think that's cool. Uh, Chicken Bones, <laughs> this is their vanity set. Their vanity set is really cool. Um, Same with, same as Frank's set though. I'm, I'm rocking my own style. Um, so it's going in the same kind of tier. This, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this, right? There's a little thing here of red, uh, holding out the Meowmia. I don't know if they made that or like put that in the game for a special video or that's in the game. If you can hold out weapons now, really cool. That could go like up here, but I, I lean towards it's fake as in like, it was just for the video. It's like an animation. But I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, Respited, uh, Respited Moon Lord. Uh, one of the reasons I'm excited. It looks really good. It's nice to have like a fresh look. It was one of the best sprites in Terraria already. I think we can all agree. It's even better now. The thing with these is I don't know how often I'm going to use them to like traverse the world. But I guess for Skyblock, they're going to be pretty essential. And moving on to that, Skyblock, yeah, I would say right now, this is the biggest reason I'm excited for this update. I think Skyblock is going to be such a laugh. Um, it's probably going to be the first thing I do with the update. Like, I'm going to record it all. 
it's going to be awesome. These things are like, they're really all of these are like quality of life changes where it's going to make the older versions just seem silly looking back. But this, this is 1.4.5 to me. Okay, so hard mode bombs. I think these are really cool. Uh, I think these are going to be very handy. Uh, I might even put them up here. I I really like to, to mine with bombs. And you stop using them in hard mode because they don't break, you know, hard mode ore. But with these, it's going to make mining pretty good. So pretty hyped. Uh, this is star furniture i don't know what it's called um <laughs> pretty self-explanatory let's be real and then kites kites are really really cool um i i mean i never use kites because i don't play multiplayer like what are you gonna do throw out a kite in single player no <laughs> nobody's doing that but i really like that i can take a kite now and place it down and make my world look awesome like how come on it's pretty good right Game changer. Wow. We just ranked, yeah, 69 things. Wow. What do you think of my ranking? And where would you place some of these? Did I get any wrong? I think that's more... Did No, I think that's that's pretty much spot on.